giant storage room and we call it the party room too because it holds all this stuff and you may remember about a year or so ago I did a video on this a before and after uh, where we set this lovely system up of shelves and we also set up um, uh, plastic sleeves on the wall to hold gift bags and so on and as I pull away that's why I'm shooting in this direction um, you might be able to see all the mess that's on the floor so Here's the thing about this, is systems need to be maintained and systems need to be updated depending on changes that come about. And then the other thing is habits. So if your habit is to just throw it all down there and close the door because you're tired, you're going to end up with this mess the next time you deal with it. Um, so it's, it's these two things that need to be looked at so that systems don't break down like this and that they do work so that you're not stressed before or after a party or, you know, getting out to somebody's house to give them a gift and so on. All right, so I'm going to do a little fix up here. I'm going to do a little analyzing of what's breaking down and then I'll talk about what I did in the next video. Thanks. And what I did was reorganize things into different bins. I didn't even go out and shop for new bins. Um, I just looked at what I had, resorted, and uh, labeled again. So the other thing I did was move Christmas, which is only once a year, to the bottom of the, you know, down to the floor here. So that's all Christmas. And before we used to have party supplies there and I think it was just really hard for people to access or just know where things went. And so I organized party supplies all into like this, you know, this is really right at your line of sight. So I think that'll be much easier. And I also did with party supplies, sorted it into, into categories. So here are plastic cups. Here are signs and banners, you know, for all the different party signs. Here's kids' plates, napkins, and cups, and even candles and accessories I've got there. Uh, there's even like gold and silver dinnerware. Um, this is being used this weekend, so we're just leaving it out. Um, and then Christmas continues down here again because it's only used once a year. And then we've got some big things here that are just easy uh, to place on the floor for parties and it's okay that they're, they're not contained. All right, so in my previous video, in the, in the before, I spoke about habits and habits are what is going to keep this singing, you know, keep this room going. So the next time you have a party, um, you're not scrambling. So one habit is not over shopping and checking before you go shop of what you already have. You know, you might have exactly what you need and you don't have to buy more, which means this would get overstuffed. And the other thing is just taking a few minutes before um, thinking about just throwing something down here quickly. Oh, I'll just put this here for just a second. That is the definition of clutter happening right there. Um, but just taking a second to put it in its proper place now that it has a proper place, okay? So systems need to be rejigged from time to time and have Habits need to be changed when you want to get organized. All right, I hope that was helpful and you enjoyed the after. Long shot for you here.